All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our artificial intelligence course, and we did start our last module, which is the natural language module. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. Now, tonight was just an introduction to the actual module, an overview of what we're going to be doing, so we're going to do some light reading. So here in our final section, we will be going over and understanding natural language. So far in this course, we have been taking problems that we want to solve intelligently and framing them in ways that the computer is going to understand. We've been taking problems and framing them as search problems or constraint satisfaction problems or optimization problems, for example. In essence, we have been trying to communicate about problems in ways that our computer is going to be able to understand. Today, the goal is going to be to get computers to understand the way you and I communicate naturally via our own natural languages, languages like English. But natural languages contain a lot of complexity that's going to make it challenging for computers to be able to understand. So we need to explore some new tools and some new techniques to allow computers to make sense of our natural language. So what is it exactly that we're trying to get computers to do? Well, they, they all fall under this general heading of natural language processing, getting computers to work with natural language. And these tasks include tasks like these are the tasks for natural language processing is automatic sum summarization, information extraction, machine translation, question answering and text classification, among some of the things that we can do. And there are several other types of tasks that all, that all fall under this heading of natural language processing. But before we take a look at how the computer might try to solve these types of tasks, it might be useful for us to think about natural languages in general. What are the kinds of challenges that we might need to deal with as we start to think about language and getting a computer to be able to understand it? So one part of language is that we'll need to consider is the syntax of language. Syntax is all about the structure of language. Language is composed of individual words, and those words are composed together in some kind of structured whole. And if our computer is going to be able to understand language, it's going to need to understand something about that structure. So let's take a couple of examples. Here, for instance, is a sentence below. Just before 9 o'clock, Sherlock Holmes stepped briskly into the room. That sentence is made up of words, and those words together form a structured whole. This is syntactically valid as a sentence, but we would like to, but we could take some of those same words, rearrange them, and come up with a sentence that is not syntactically valid. Let's look at an example of this below. Just before Sherlock Holmes, 9 o'clock, stepped briskly the room. It's still composed of valid words, but they're not in any sort of logical form. That is not a syntactical, well-formed sentence. Another interesting challenge is that some sentences will have multiple possible valid structures. Here's an example of that below. I saw the man on the mountain with a telescope. Here, there's a valid sentence, but it actually has two different possible structures that can be interpreted two different ways. Maybe I, the one with the telescope, doing the seeing, or maybe the man on the mountain is the one with the telescope. And so natural language is ambiguous. Sometimes the same sentence can be interpreted in multiple ways. And that's something that we we'll need to think about as well. Now, I'm not going to do all the reading that we went over tonight. We did take a quite a few notes just to dive into the beginning of the course. We didn't do anything spectacular. Like I said, just an overview of what we're going to be going over. But of course, as we move forward, I will keep you guys posted every step of the way as usual. But for now, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.